And we are back today to do some more settings on our blogger. I have done actually a few off camera, so it might look a little bit different than what my last video showed. So first we're going to be heading into blogger. Don't really feel like wasting too much time with a, uh, I don't know. But I did waste that like 30 seconds of your life right there with my intro right there. Did you see that? All right, so we go, it's time, let's go into settings. So we wait for it to load. You type in a description of your blog, and I think this is how it'll appear on Google if it ever, if you ever find it. Um, add it to our listing so other people can find it in lists of blogs. Let search engine finds it. Yes. Exactly. Yes, we will include your blog in Google Blog Search and ping webblogs.com. Uh, I wonder what that means anyways. Um, I would leave all these at the same settings except just type this in right here. Um, yours might be uh, set to old editor here. You probably want to do the updated editor. It's better than the old editor, trust me. And then you just click save settings. Even though I didn't edit anything. Right, so let's go on to the next part. Publishing. This pretty much only means if you... Uh, couldn't think of a good URL to begin with, and now you have a better one. I guess you can just change it. Uh, type in the code. That's about it. We go back to formatting. Show me seven posts on the main page. So if I was to go to my blog right now, which I will. Eh, anyways, uh, let's see. You have your date format while I wait for it to load. All right, so we have seven. Oh, this is slow. As you can see, I now have a background. Okay, so you have seven plus one, two, three and a half, four, five, six, seven. I only have seven posts. Alright, so we have our date header format. You can change it to however you want it. This will show this will show up when you have your post. It'll be like Saturday, October 2nd, 2010 was when this was posted. Or you could be uh, British and do 02 October 10. And then after a month, it will archive it. So you don't have like 800 posts in the main feed. This way you can order, or you can organize it into months so people can see, oh, what did you do on your first month? Or your second month? Or what were you doing at this time? Um... This is wrong. We're going to change ourselves to mountain time. And what time do I want to have? Yeah, I'll just leave it at 3.47 p.m. Don't know what that means. Just leave it as the same. Yes, 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 yes. Save settings. Okay, it's going to comments. Show comments, yes. Registered users, um, it's probably just a better idea to have that. Registered users and people with Google accounts probably are the same thing. Let's see. Um, this just what's comments below the post, so it's easy to comment. Comments, default for posts, new posts can have comments. Backlinks, this shows where people are linking to your page. Eh, whatever, I'll just hit show, that'll be kind of interesting. These are also known as pingbacks. They're kind of useful. All of them have backlinks. Uh, I don't know what any of this means. No comment moderation that way if some idiot's trying to spam you. Put your email in if you want them to email you. Show word verification. Yes, this makes it so bots can't post because bots can't read when they screw up those images for you that you always have to type in. Okay. 
archiving this is where it categorizes it into monthly weekly or daily snapshots I'll just leave it a monthly alright we go into the RSS feed this one's fun alright so you're gonna probably want to leave this at full you can either have like the first paragraph to appear in an RSS feed which is just a formatting of your website to make it easy for people to open up in uh, like programs like let's see I don't have any with me on this but instead of having to view our blog you can have it in a program that you can put feeds from everything into and it makes it really easy to view a bunch of uh, different sites at the same time in one spot and none of us are probably going to be using feed burner that's only for like statistics and stuff and then you can put this at the bottom of your RSS feed I have noticed that on a site called Freenology just sec you can see this site pretty much just takes the RSS feed of another site and posts it immediately below here that's probably what these all are right here it's like this should be there because you never see this kind of stuff on the original post so I'm assuming they're pulling the RSS feed and just posting it X alright I just put that there so when people do it it'll tell them to link back to this blog Okay, I'm going to edit this part so you can't see it, but um, I don't exactly know what block send is, uh, whatever. And then down here, um, you can send emails to this address you make right here, and then it'll post it as a blog, and you can put images, and it posts. It's just another way of making a blog post. You can put anything in right here. I'll uh, come back and do it after this video because I don't want you being able to post my blog. Yes, I want to continue. Open ID is just a way of signing into multiple sites at the same time. It costs money to have this ability, so it's kind of pointless to me. I am the admin, and anyone can read it. Okay, so. That is, concludes our settings. Let's see. What? I'm going to pause you guys until I find something else to do. I had an idea, but I don't remember what it is right now. Alright, so I found something we can do again. So we go into design this time. And you go to your about me section and you hit edit. And you wait for it to do something. And then you type in stuff. I'm just going to put Idaho. Okay, there. I don't know how much is in the blog archive right now since this blog just kind of opened up. That's how it should look. Alright, one of the things you guys are going to want to do is go into Template Designer under Design. This is a nice piece of work. If you haven't noticed, I am really tired, so this post isn't as energetic, or this video isn't as energetic. And I seem to be, like, choking on my tongue as I talk. Alright, so up here you'll have whatever your template was originally, and then you go to. How do I customize these? 
you go to background um, what's this oh, you click on the little down arrow and you can pick different items patterns I did a zero one zero one one because it uh what's this? Yeah, I'm not that much into math. I'm sorry. This one was pretty cool. I like this one. But then I found this one, which seems more like my job. But for the sake of the video I'll change it to this one. All right, and then we go to layout. This is just what it looks like. And then the advanced tab is where you have all of your little settings. So you can change your fonts, the background colors, and the text colors of your page, your links, your title. Let's see. Date header, this little box right here. You can't see the colors right now. We'll fix that. Apply it to the blog. Template has been applied. Gadget text, gadget links. I can't seem to edit this stuff in the box over here, so there's no point in doing that to me. Yeah, I don't know what any of that means. So it's been applied. Where is the. Why did you do this? Remember, there's a way to edit this. Okay, so we go back to Blogger. Um, dang, where was it? I don't think it's edit HTML. Definitely not. Template designer. we have only a couple of minutes left so hurry up computer oh just width that's what I'm looking for so what I was talking about earlier when you adjust the width you can make it wider I like to scroll down to a video so I can adjust the correct width. I leave it about right there at 930 and then I scroll back up to our find us on Facebook thing and I've already fine-tuned these. Looks kinda crappy if you have it that wide so it's too small. No, come on, quit moving. Right, right there, about 310. And that's kind of how you basically set up the rest of Blogger for yourself. And a bit in the next video, I'll probably be showing some more stuff about how to post stuff. All right, I'm really tired, and the Bronco game's gonna be on soon, so I gotta get dressed in blue and orange.